Okay. Uh, my friend likes to call it armadillo mode, right? If the rest of the world crashes, maybe because of CrowdStrike, maybe because of something else, my local area can continue to run for like three days. Uh, that's usually enough to get, you know, past most of the things. Maybe you want to go a little longer, but <clears throat> I think that's the way to do it. And this armadillo mode is an idea that I think more of us should have, you know, on our list of our checklist of things to look for. Yeah, I'm hearing three things in what you just said. Talking about seeing more distributed systems at the edge. So the intelligence would be spreading across the edge and no longer be something that belongs to the cloud with, you know, dumb sensors and actuators at the edge. Autonomous one is interesting. The ability to resist or survive an offline situation or be designed for it. I think that's super important. Um, we, we often think about this as, you know, the disconnected scenario for something that is moving like a cruise ship, right? Where you have to, because at the end of the day, you will lose your connection to cellular or whatever at some point. But we're seeing that as well as a requirement for facilities and systems that could be connected all the time, but don't want to, or for security reasons, ought to be disconnected most of the time, or firewalled in a way that, you know, you only have one little tiny connection where you have a very controlled uh, type of data that is going through. And, and AI in general uh, being being optimized for the edge, that's the, the, the way I like to say, um, any form of AI. But yeah, definitely these three big um, trends, I, I definitely concur with you, are, are happening.